Welcome to Get to the Point. I'm your host, Jessica Spahn, and I'm excited today to bring you a show highlighting the importance of recreation and community, brought to you by The Keller Point. Join us each episode and be inspired as we bring you conversations with community leaders who share their experiences, expertise, and explore the role that recreation plays in sustaining well-being and success. What are we waiting for? Let's get to the point. Welcome to Get to the Point. I'm your host, Jessica Spawn, and today we have a very special guest in from the library, the Keller City Library. Keller Public Keller Library. Public, mm-hmm. open mm-hmm. to the public-ish yes. library. <laughs> Anne Flanoy? That's right. Flanoy. Yeah, you got it right. I love it. So you're the library director. I am, yeah. And you recently just got this title. Yeah, I just uh, was promoted to director um, in April. I've held a lot of positions at the Keller Public Library. I started um, many years ago as a volunteer. Um, I was doing shelving and and helping out with processing and stuff, and I've moved through the ranks a little bit, um, and now I am the head librarian. Yeah. So you're the top, you're in charge of everything. Right. Yeah. So I I, uh, oversee part of the staff, and then they have their steps that go down. Um, But yeah, I'm the director at the library. Sounds like so much fun. And, what, and I know, what, what level of education do you have to have for that? So the, well, this is actually something that um, a lot of people don't realize that to be a librarian, you do have to have a graduate degree. You yeah, have to hold I a, had no idea. That's you have to hold a master's up. degree in library <laughs> science. And that's something that I hear a lot, too, is they don't realize it's a science degree. Um, oh, I da- didn't know that either. It's data sciences and information Art. sciences. So, yeah, it's very scientific. Um, it's a two-year graduate program. You have to have your bachelor's first. Okay. Um, right now, um, now, obviously, not all of the staff at the library. Yeah. Yeah, right. as a degree librarian um, but right now we have nine of our 19 staff members hold master's degrees what? in library science so we're a very um educated uh library at yeah. the moment. um <laughs> but yeah um it's a it's something that we hear a lot you know they come in and they'll call anybody that works at the library a librarian um which is fine it's not really a problem it's just not technically true <laughs> what's technically true then so that would be the the staff that hold the degrees. That mm-hmm. is, it's like uh, you don't call it's somebody, like a doctor, doctor. Exactly, you don't okay. call somebody who's not a doctor. Interesting. A doctor. Yeah. Whoa, that's really cool. I didn't. I mean, I knew I learned that recently, but yeah. I didn't know that. Um, and so, wait, when you started volunteering, how long ago was that from then to now? Um, it's a little more than ten years ago. Okay. Yeah. Did you? work for a library before that? I did not. No, library is actually my second career. I um, went to law school and I worked as a lawyer for a few what years. Kind, and, what kind of attorney? Um, I did uh, research and okay. uh, criminal defense. And <gasps> so I you hate, defended the bad guys. I hated it. It was terrible. <laughs> it, it Honestly, it just wasn't for me. And I, yeah. I never found a, a home that I loved in the law. And I, I still love the law. And Um, I love doing that research side of things, but I never loved working with lawyers, sorry, lawyers, Um, (laughs) and and doing all of that kind of stuff. It just wasn't, it wasn't a good fit for me. And so um, I started volunteering around a lot. And so I started volunteering at the library, um, at the Ronald McDonald House, which is a big passion of mine. Um, And then they had a job opening at the library. And uh, one of the librarians said, you know what, Anne, you seem to be really enjoying this. Um, We think you should apply for this job. And so I did, and it turned out to be a temporary job, which is fine, but got my foot in the door. Yeah. Um, and so I did that, and then I did some other temporary positions and moved around and just kind of fit in everywhere. Uh, and luckily, there's just been opportunities for me at, at, at the Keller Library specifically to just keep moving up. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh, you live in Keller, too? I don't. I live in this. I live in Fort Worth. Um, I do as well, yeah. I always I get there. I, like I always Keller. joke that um, when we moved in, we were very new, newlyweds, very young, and we thought we were moving to Keller. Like oh, so many when, people, they, when it changed? Yeah. Zoning or right. Whatever. Six yeah. months after we moved in, they changed our zip code on us, and we said, well, I guess we have to admit now that we do live in Fort Worth and not in Keller. Um, but, uh, it's very color. They call it right. right? And it's very close. Uh, it's, I I drive four minutes, uh, four miles every day to work. So, um, uh, Keller is very much my home. I consider that my community. So, yeah. And you Uh, guys stay busy. So I -hmm. I know a week or so ago, a photographer friend of mine was wanting to do something with his grandkid Mm -hmm. and we, we have the toddler time on Fridays, which is really fun, but he wanted to do something on Thursday. And you guys had something on Thursday, so we thank you for this plug, do. Jessica. Yeah. Yes, I, I run a program on Thursday mornings myself um, called Art with Anne, and it's um, for kids ages two and up. And we just do crafts that are um, designed for kids that young, and we'll do everything from like we made 
dinosaur puppets. This week we're making pizzas out of paper plates. Um, so it's just an opportunity for them to practice their cutting and gluing and fine motor skills, um, but also to do something uh, fun away from the house. That's interesting to me because now that you said you have your degree in science that you would do an art class it's funny I I, <laughs> I joke a lot that we're we are very highly educated and have yeah. these um graduate degrees and the amount of time that we spend setting up tables and chairs <laughs> is oh, right is uh a little disproportionate to our education level but well because you uh, guys also did um and I, I assume you do it annually you guys had the aquatics team out to do a story they read a story to the kids with the life jackets and kind of promoted water safety right yeah no I, I, as far as i know that was the first time we'd actually done that oh. specific well i like program. to say it's gonna always happen but what we do like <laughs> to do at the library is uh have these monthly themes yeah um, where we'll do different things. And then uh, I believe it was May that you're talking about. May is yeah. uh, Water Safety, water month. safety yeah, yeah. month. And so it was a really good opportunity for us to partner with The Point um, and get some guys over to talk about safety yeah. and, and those life jackets and stuff. And that was a very well-attended uh, program. For us. And that's why I hope it's every year. Yeah. Because <laughs> it gives me good content and yeah. I need content. Yeah. for social media. Uh, that's exciting. So you said you're a dog person. Yes, I am. Yeah. Do you like cats at all? This is a really important question. I was afraid me. you would ask me this because I know you're <laughs> such a cat person. Um, when I was in high school, I actually worked. Um, my job was working at the vet. Oh, wow. Um, and I was the person that walked the dogs and changed the cat litter. And um, I'd always, I've always been a dog person. And so I've struggled a lot with the cats. <laughs> Um, particularly because cats, they don't like strangers and they didn't, I don't know. They just didn't like me. So I had you have to earn it. You have yeah. to earn it with them. Um, that's what I appreciate. So I, yeah, I, yeah. <laughs> See, and that's the difference in us. And I don't want to have to work for my love. Just give it to me. <laughs> it's unconditional. Yeah, that's true. Um, but yeah, I have a dog. Um, he's named after a character in my favorite book, like a proper librarian. Of course. Um, and he's, uh, 13 now and wow. losing his hearing but you wouldn't oh. know if if he wasn't losing his hearing you'd have no idea he was so wait are you bringing him do you bring him to doggy dunk ever or i like, don't okay no. just too I've, many dogs i i've been keeping my eye on this doggy dunk thing and i've been wanting to do it and i've never brought him i may do it now he's mellowed a lot in his old age it, what, what's he, what's his size like he's wait. a medium dog he weighs about we still have spots yeah I'm and i know this is going to air after doggy dunk but there's always doggy dunk next year mm. It's so much. I know. Fun. I love looking at the pictures. It looks so. Oh my fun. gosh! Well, that's we have the photographer mm -hmm. that I was telling you about, who I love. He's the best. Um, I'm gonna keep him a secret so that we can use him for everything because we do. Um, but yeah, the dogs. We do doggy costume contests for that. Yep. That is so freaking cute. I mean, you, social media and dogs. People are so creative with yeah, that. Yeah, I'm like, oh, so much winning. Let's do a lot more yeah. of this, please. <laughs> and then the city does yappy hour actually yeah. coming in September every Thursday evening mm -hmm. from 5 30 to 7 and they do March I think as well right so they yes they yeah it's bring a, a lot of fall. yeah mm -hmm. kind of like events out near out near color point at the dog park so there's had this, so much in the city I had this great idea for a dog program at the library I haven't been able to pull it off I yet. feel like that's a yes um but yeah now that I <laughs> now that I bring it up I'm gonna have to do it one day but it's called project runway love it so it's and costumes and dogs you yeah it's, you pro it. you it's project runway but you make the love costume okay, I'm right there and you. then we have the runway where you run your pets and i've seen it done at another library and they had like an iguana and a tuxedo and, and like a rabbit in a those don't have, yeah does a rabbit have a paw yeah, yeah yeah a rabbit a bunny a rabbit you know, i'm thinking of those keychains that you like rub for good luck is that do the rabbit rabbit's speech. foot um, no, I mean, it looks paw? looks like a paw. It does look like a paw. All right. You're just nitpicking at the name of my program. <laughs> no, but I love it. No, no, no. <laughs> no. I, if you don't do it this year, please. Let's I know. Do it. I, like, I'll, I'll, we'll find a way to make it all work between the yappy hour because you could go out there and promote that. Like, yeah. you could do it in October when it's like costume contest time. You know, I'd be all game to help do something with you. One guys. thing that we do do that I love also is tail wagon tutors. Okay. Where we bring in therapy dogs um, <gasps> for kids to practice their reading to so they read to the dogs? dogs yeah so it's a low pressure environment where, because the, the dogs, dog's not judging yeah, and they exactly. don't care if they stumble over a word or they don't know how to pronounce a word no um, a cat would give you the side eye right or not even <laughs> sit next to you but these dogs they're just super chill they lay there and let you pet them what? and they just watch these where do the kids dogs read the books from? um it's a, a a therapy dog program oh, called cool. therapy dogs international okay um, they're insured and licensed dogs it, yeah. and um they come out and it's a lot of fun 
the kids love when it. do you guys do that multiple times a year or yeah kind of just- uh, we were doing it i believe once a month um i'll have to check and see if she's got any um things booked up but it's usually on the weekend in the afternoon is there an age oh range? yeah it, i mean learning to read age so anybody anybody who can read independently up to That's however a, old you second want to be. Sure. I'm yeah. like- well so usually it's probably like five to twelve okay okay yeah. that makes sense Oh, that's so much fun. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to check that out. And you guys have a lot of programs. We do. I, I would say we're a pretty uh, program-heavy library. Um, uh, It's something that we put a lot of work and effort into. Our yeah, I can tell. Our work hard on yeah. it. Um, and like I said, we love a good theme, so we'll do a lot with a theme. My favorite that we did um, recently was, it was during COVID, so I guess it was a couple years ago now, was Die November. Okay. So it's November and a dino theme. And so everything we did across the ages had something to do <laughs> with dinosaurs. I mean, you could do it again. Um, yeah, totally. It's yeah. Not November yet. And then we, we have these um, this dream to do uh, anime for okay. anime in May. I got you. Um, and so it just gives us a chance to. I like that you like puns. I love puns. I'm a huge you know, fan. I'm, you know, reader. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that like a thing? I don't know. I guess, I yeah. Like- uh, but I, it gives our librarians a, a chance to work together yeah. as a team and, um, and we can and be creative too. Mm-hmm. I think it's important to always like, so with the fit city challenge that the, that started a couple years ago, yeah. I, I know that there's a very strong focus on the mental activity aspect of yeah. it. And I think it's really cool that you, you guys are kind of creating and yeah. keeping that like m- brain muscle right. you know, strong. Yeah, and, uh, and we uh, we'll do anything we can at the library to support mental health too, yeah. providing resources, we being a space for you to come and do your work. If you're you know a work from homer who is surrounded by kids and pets and you need a break, come do it at the library and we'll we'll find you a place to work. Yeah, that that sounds. I don't know. I have a cat, so I'm, you know, but <laughs> but I'm sure a lot of people need to get out of the house. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Well, I'm trying to decide what next. I want to talk about the flag. Okay. Because yeah. is I feel like, so when I started with Keller Point last year, I saw the flag pretty immediately mm-hmm. on the social media. Yeah. And I was like, what is this? It's something that really took off. I When, when did he, it start? Oh, gosh. And how I, did it happen? I'm not sure. So it was Armin, the the mayor. Yeah. It's his kind of pet project. He, um, I actually wasn't part of it when we introduced it. But from what I understand, he brought it to us and said, I want to do this. And we said, okay. That's a, <laughs> we'll that, make that's it like a no-brainer because that doesn't, like, take any time. Right. Like, it really takes nothing in addition to making sure you have a few flags. Yeah. And over the years, we've had to add more and more flags. Yeah. Like, I think we circulate about Three, 10 of them ten. right now. <laughs> yeah. And we started with just just one yeah um and so we just kept saying hey mr mayor we need more flags and they just kept appearing um <laughs> and there's a, a a book you can come and sign and put your photo in and you can come browse and look at and see where everybody's <gasps> I didn't been know you could put a yeah. photo in it yeah man because i told that was how i got to know you guys in the first place was i was like what is this flag and then i was headed to CatCon la because cats and i thought oh my god no one else is gonna have cat pictures with the flag this yeah. is unique it's not like paris but it's different so i came to you guys and i got my card and i had did the whole thing yeah. but i didn't realize i could put a hard copy in something yeah so, now I'm- <laughs> so that's an important point you bring up though is that you do need a library card yes. to check out the flag how do you how do you and how's that work so to get a library card um you need to come into the library and fill out an application and show us your photo id and theoretically your photo id is current and has your current address on it if it's not, we can use something like an electric bill or a phone okay. bill or something um, in case you, you're brand new and you yeah. just moved. Um, we can still get your library card. Um, but yeah, it's just filling out this application and then it takes us about 10 minutes to process the card and then you're ready to start checking out things. You feel really special because then you get the regular card and you get the little thing. You get the little card. one that you can put on your That keychain. reminds me yeah. of like 10 years ago yeah. when all the grocery stores had those yes, things. Yes, loyalty cards. Yes. Yeah. Um, and there were too many and they were everywhere. So I don't mind just having the one. So it's kind of perfect. When I first started <laughs> working at the library, I was amazed at how many people would memorize their library card number because it's, oh, I'm going to get it wrong. Is it it's, a reader thing? It's like 15 digits, is it? right? And what it is, is like knowing your VIN. When you, <laughs> I know, who knows their VIN number? But when you have to order materials online, like that's your username okay. for your library account is your library card number. Is it? And so they would type it in so many times. Gotcha that they would have it memorized. And I get it now. I've done it so many times. I have multiple cards memorized and it's fine. But so especially the teenagers, they just would rattle off these numbers with like 
without even thinking about it because they have to type it in so many times. Interesting. Yeah. I wouldn't have thought that. So, okay. So if you're a resident, you just do that. What if you don't, what if you live in Watauga or somewhere else? Okay. So we're in, a, it's called a consortium. That's a library term okay. for a group of libraries. You that guys would have to use the big word. Right. That of share with each other. Yeah. So we share materials, we share patrons. So if you live in or hold a library card to uh, one of the libraries that's in our consortium, okay. Um, it's called Metro Share. Okay. Um, then we will honor that library card. So if you live in Watauga and you have a, a Watauga library card, you can just come use it as if we are your home library. Okay. Um, and that's uh, Watauga, Haltom City, Roanoke, Hazlitt, um, and it goes all the way down into like Burleson and Benbrook um, too. But there's 11 of us. Wow, right yeah. that's huge. I didn't know about that at all. Um, now there are some area cities that yeah. don't participate, obviously. Yeah. It's not going to be everybody. So uh, Fort Worth, let's say that happens a lot because Fort Worth is so close to us. It's massive. Like I said, you size. and I both live in Fort yeah. Worth. So um, for a Fort Worth resident to get a card with us, uh, they have a couple of options. Uh, they can purchase a non-resident membership okay. for $25 a year, and that covers their whole household. Yeah. So anybody who lives with you can be covered in that $25 a year. Okay. And that gives you a full membership. You get to do everything that a resident could do. Yeah. The other option is something that's coming soon, October the 1st, <laughs> is called a tech share card. Okay. And is that what I saw on social media? Probably. Yeah. <laughs> so tech share is um, a statewide program that okay. allows us to get cards at other state libraries. Interesting. Um, and the cool thing about it is, is not just public libraries, it's academic libraries and special libraries participate too. So, so. how's that going to look though? Like what would the person who would utilize that so what you would do, Jessica, as a Fort Worth resident, you would go to the Fort Worth library and say, I need a tech share card. I know about this because okay. I, I just did you this did, myself. Did okay. Um, you go and they issue you a tech share card and then you would bring that tech share card to us and say, look, I'm a tech share card. They trust me. They gave me this card. You it's like your VIP. Mm -hmm. And then we give you a Keller card using that tech share card. Interesting. Now, it doesn't have all of the same privileges that a uh, uh, actual Keller library gotcha. card holds. Um, so they're like if like you want, room rental, like room space or whatever. It, right. Room room rental, rentals would yeah. be free for you. Um, uh, our digital resources, so like ebooks um, and streaming videos and things. Um, if you wanted to access all of that, you wouldn't have the access with that with a tech share card. Interesting. Yeah. That sounds very complicated. And the checkout limits, like I, I should mention, are different, too. It is. It's very complicated. <laughs> Um, our staff does a really good job. Try to, it, like, convey. The, yeah. <laughs> we go through this speech a lot, so it's something that they've got nailed, and they they know what you need to know um, to run your library account. Oh, interesting. And right now, so we're in September, mm -hmm. and is there's something like a library card? Sure, what it's is it? National Library Card month. Sign Up Month. Something. Long so month. libraries all over the country are doing a push right now to sign up for a library card, so we're doing one as well. We have a campaign going. Um, right now, during the month of September, if you sign up for a library card, you get a uh, free cup. <gasps> what? Oh, my goodness. That is fantastic. And um, it's got some goodies inside there. Heck you can yeah. only get this by signing up for a library card. That is so, so fun. Um, we've got a bunch of those to give out. Um, well, we're I'm excited glad for I because I'll put that on my side. Yeah. Um, we'll share it on. Yeah. City of Keller. Like, uh, staff everywhere. Gets everybody. Every um, uh, membership, too. So if you work for the City of Keller, stop by. We'll get your card. Oh, yeah. 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 Same as Color Point. Yeah. So like <laughs> on that note. There are some perks. Come, working. come. Yeah. You, there's a lot of perks yeah. working for the city. So you get the library card mm -hmm. if you're not like, you know, if you're not like in Keller and right. you get the membership to Keller. And clearly a lot of us are not Keller residents. Yes. Oh, I know. So right. One day. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, speaking of Color Point. So you've been in the area for a bit mm -hmm. have you had opportunities to interact with color point at all i know you're yeah. really busy yeah well like we mentioned we we partner as much as we yeah. can with the color point i know in the past um our children's librarian actually did a poolside story time where she sat on the edge of the pool and it's some of my favorite oh. uh, library photos and she read a book indoor or outdoor uh, outdoor okay. to the babies out into the pool um and then how do you uh, get them all to like focus does she have a microphone I'm so i mean curious. like that's why we have to have a master's degree <laughs> jessica <laughs> yeah we learn how to do things gotcha. like that so um yeah the just children's librarians especially i have never been a children's librarian have uh have a real skill for holding kids attention. well i appreciate them because yeah. <laughs> i do also have a children's book yes. that is like uh the age range i always say from zero to third grade because the pictures yeah are awesome. My illustrator is phenomenal. But um, 
it's a lot of fun to go read to schools. But I'm I'm not. I don't have a master's. I don't have kids. So I have trouble sometimes getting everybody to shh. The teachers have to help. <laughs> so, that's so fun. We should bring that back again. Yeah. Did, was it like during this? No, it's too hot this summer probably, right? I mean, I mean it must have been Maybe right before the, the pool opens it's or right? It's been a couple years because it was a, a different children's library okay. than we have right now. But um, yeah, it was a popular event. You know what? You should do do like a combination water safety reading thing at the pool and mm. like then they could hang out. Like yeah. maybe the week before we open or something, we could do something where you guys get to sure. do the reading and that and then the little life jackets and then yeah. all the things. I don't know. Speaking of water safety, yeah. we, we just had um, a staff training day last week. Uh, where instructors from the point came over and our entire staff, 100% of the library staff is now CPR and first, first aid certified. Nice. Um, so it was awesome. We had, it was Marissa and Carly yeah. uh, shared their talents with us. They were very patient uh, with a bunch of, uh, you know, uh, people who hang out in the office all day. <laughs> they kept having to say, no, wait, this might not be so relevant uh, since you don't work by the pool. <laughs> but you never know. I yeah. just, you don't, you could be sitting next to someone. It's, I mean, anything could happen. I mean, anytime. our building is open to the public. I yeah. mean, everybody the Walk Anybody in. is there and anything could happen at any time. Yeah. Also, there's a huge park across the street from us too, right. that is heavily Ooh. used. Yeah. Parks. Yeah. Let's chat. What's yeah. this what's this book situation go? I I just kind of follow the like book trail thing. The story. Oh, Explain. sure. Explain. <laughs> so we have and it's new to us. Um r right around when I became the director, we we debuted it. Um, I think it was in April. Okay. Um it's called the Lisa Harper Wood tail trail yes because it rained a lot that day and i didn't yes, make it because it was, of the rain it was a very interesting day it was like it's we sunshine had a, right where you needed it to and yeah, everyone else it was, was perfect yeah <laughs> um so it's it's dedicated in memory of our former library yeah. director lisa harper wood um but it is a, a tail trail so it's the backyard of the library has kind of a circuit route yeah. right and along the way there are stations where at each station you read a page from the book. That is so fun. Um, and we just put up a new story this week, so it's very so. Is it like check out. so? If they so, how many stations are there? Oh gosh, I think there's probably like twenty. Okay, so does the book just get divided up into twenty yeah. pieces? So yeah, like, I mean, if it's one page or two pages, because like for example, my book is. 40 but some of it's not with the photos so like it would be two pages i guess each. i mean the this the right the way it's worked so far we've had we've had a total of two books mm -hmm. so far is she's done like you open the book and it's yeah, flat so like two this pages so two pages are on that's perfect because most books are about that length yeah. for children i guess yeah so, and it's yeah. it's meant to be a picture book yeah. for the kids to engage in it and then they just start at one end and they read the story along the way and there's fun stuff like landscaping and statues and there's a real big mural at the end that the um public arts board helped us um um commission yeah. and it's uh you know all 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 getting kids to interact with literature in a different way and get their bodies moving yeah so that's um, again the activity yeah. activity thing starting young yeah and hopefully keeping it up right and then you guys so friends of keller library uh -huh. so i'm just asking these questions because i'm i mean i'm newish yeah. to this area and a lot has happened and i love it so much really cool stuff so i'm not totally familiar with like what how that came about or okay. like can you explain so uh, the the history of the friends of the keller library happened long before me but it was actually started by lisa harper wood mm -hmm. uh, her former director but there are support organizations so it's a volunteer uh based program um they are fully self-governing but they manage a bookstore yeah. um that raises proceeds and then they give us those proceeds at the library to do fun things oh, like cool. Um, send staff to training or run a program or they funded all of the prizes for the summer reading club oh, uh, nice. for the last several years too oh that's so awesome yeah because they're and so i figure are they open weekends or they're i guess you can just go online two days a week right okay. now uh wednesdays and saturdays from okay. 10 to 2 okay um and then every so often they'll have a, a, a special a special sale, thing, sale yeah. and, i'm usually there yeah <laughs> Uh, they the next one of that is coming up on the first Friday in October. Uh -huh. Everything in the store is fifty percent off during those sales, and they so usually bring a in a couple sale. authors. And, and and it's yeah, and it's fifty percent off, but the prices are already I know really cheap. low. So really like low. one and two dollar books you're getting for fifty cents. They're yeah. like armfuls. Yeah. I saw They'll come last time. And, and yeah, help them clear because you need it because they need it cleared so they can get more. Right. Yeah. <laughs> like it needs Which to is, keep moving. And that's something that we're always struggling with at the library too, is we need to get the old books Gone. that aren't popular anymore. And so that's what we do is we funnel them through the yeah. friends. But and the they friends need to get their them. books gone because yeah. there needs to be space. So basically yeah. just everybody in Keller needs to read more. Yeah. Read yeah. more books, 
check them out or not rent check them out of the library and um and then buy 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 a yeah. bunch at that store read all the things we uh, everybody's library card lets them check out a hundred items at the library so That's you can check out a hundred books <laughs> you can check out a hundred movies we have all sorts of things we've got kits to help you plan date night we have a metal detector kit i've got a gopro camera um, we have kits that help the kids learn. So it's like books with stuffed animals that are paired Aww. together on a theme. Um, so we we like to say our hashtag is something for everyone. So I have seen that yeah. on your social media. We've got all sorts of stuff. If We always say if we can put a barcode on it, we'll circulate it. <laughs> I love hearing yeah. that. Uh, I do want to ask something kind of fun. I was thinking about this the other day. So before the library, before you're an attorney, uh -huh. Not necessarily what your first like job was, okay. but maybe the first thing that you did that you earned any money oh, from, gosh. but that legally, legally, legally I know. mean, <laughs> uh, I was a big babysitter um, when I was young. Um, I did the Red Cross training to to be a licensed. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Which we do, which we um, do at the. I was in the Campfire Girls. I don't know if you're familiar with. Are they like, like mysteries or something? Or it, something? No, it's like the. Um, like the Girl Scouts, but a different Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Um, and so our troop went and got certified to be babysitters. And I did a lot of baby. I made a lot of money as babysitting. Um, and then I also, I'm a violinist. <gasps> did and, not know that. And, uh, in high school, I did a lot of um, playing at weddings. and you made. still do that? I know. I, I, not as much as I should. I should pick it up more. But um, yeah, I made a lot of uh, money just being the uh, violinist. We had a, a quartet for several weddings too, um, with some friends from school. And Man, I feel like I should have in the future someone ha like one of their like secret like skills that no one yeah. knows about. And like you could be like, and here's my violin, and just like get it out. I don't know. It, it <laughs> comes out at the strangest times too, because I I feel like I don't I don't do it as much as I uh, used to, so I don't talk about it as much. But. <laughs> but that's really cool. Yeah. I think, I mean, for me, um, I just used to like drawing a lot and I just sell yeah. to neighbors or whatever. Um, oh, really? Interesting. I never did the like lemonade stand or sell things yeah. to anybody. So well, it's been useful because I have a lot of sales background. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my art background. Okay. Stories, basically. Yeah. I mean, so like I used to just draw like the Lion King, like just by, I'd like pause the BCR for those of you that don't know what that is, it's a machine <laughs> that plays digital content called movies for the people when we were little and it was black and white TV to color TV. No, I'm just kidding. What that one? <laughs> but um, yeah, yeah, no, I'd little. pause the VCR and I'd, I'd sit there for hours and just like sketch it out and color it and then I'd go sell it. So that was really, it's, it's interesting because I look back now and I think it's kind of telling if you pay attention to mm -hmm. kids and what they're yeah, passionate about. Yeah, that's very about. true. Yeah. Um, and like help kind of maybe steer them in that direction somehow. Um, cause I mean, I don't know, I don't have kids, but I think it's fascinating to kind of like see what they're excited about yeah. and what they'll do just for fun or, you know, and then kind of see. I love that. that the library watching kids browse because they're going to find something that maybe they just didn't even know existed. Like they didn't know there was such a thing as a podcaster as a right? career and they're going to learn about it. Um, so it just opens up this whole new world for them to find things. And yeah, it's great. I love that. Uh, so, okay. On social media, what's the handle for you guys? Um, so we're on Instagram as... Oh, you're on different I names. should have studied it. Yeah. <laughs> because, <laughs> because believe it or not, we're not the only Keller Public Library in the country. Are you um, serious? There's no One Keller. of them is Keller TX Library. And one of them is just Keller Library. And I always get them wrong. One's the Instagram. So, yeah. Keller Library is Instagram. Instagram. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just Keller Library. And then is it the same on Facebook? Uh, it have... should be Keller Public Library on Facebook. And then Twitter or X or whatever we're supposed to call I, it I now. gave up when they did that. <laughs> yeah, so you're... the Keller TX <laughs> library. No, so, yeah, so, so oh, I gotcha. But do you guys even use... I have literally, when they changed the X, and the, <laughs> when these, when the, what was it, threads came out, I was like, for a second, yeah. I'm like, ooh, there's an opportunity. Nah. 
<laughs> we 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 do have a librarian whose job is to manage it. I don't think we're real active. Well, you guys do it. a great job on just in general because oh, I'm on because that's my a Instagram role is mine. my yeah my it's your jam. So I you do a great job. I'll take that. Yeah. <laughs> and you. I uh, I love because you guys post the little thing every like every week or month or what is yeah it, I week, do. Uh, what's I post going on every Monday? What's yeah. going to happen for that week? And that's um, so helpful. Kind of break it down. And then like within within the city, people know about it. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, you guys yeah, share our events. Far and wide, Please, you do not yeah. have to have a library card to come to any of our programs. Okay. We don't even ask you if you have a library card. We'll give you one while you're there. <laughs> um, but yeah, you don't have to be a member um, of any library at all to come to our programs. Um, cool. It's just a, there to be community enrichment. So I love it. You guys ready. are so great. Okay, so if you guys haven't checked out the Keller Library, find them on social. Yep. And oh, – physically show up because it's a really yeah. cool place it's next to the senior center mm -hmm. and the friends of keller library mm -hmm. is next so they're in it's the on johnson road it's on yeah. johnson road kind of the keller high schools mm -hmm. just down the a road. little past mm -hmm. that so yeah just show up in person and ask for ann yeah sure <laughs> yeah my new office um the window of my office looks out into the library so i feel oh more wow to oh the... is that good or bad for you <laughs> uh, it's been interesting my predecessor didn't have that window open at all and i oh i love to know the people i get claustrophobic and okay. so to not have a window in there, I was like, no, we got to open this up. And so but then you're like, but yeah, it's interesting because it's, it's like right on the path to the toddler playroom. And so there's a lot. So of now I know I can walk through there and just be I weird. I put a sticker on the window that says, um, don't tap on the glass library. Like the, like the, yeah, like the easily. fish or whatever. <laughs> That's adorable. Yeah, totally do that. And for a while, um, during shark week, I had this big shark thing, um, up in the window, just temporary holding it until my program and it was like the amount of people that stopped and like admired this silly shark cardboard cutout they're they're definitely looking on their way by yeah i'm i i i love what you guys are doing because i've Thanks. never really paid attention to libraries before but with my city yeah position i pay a lot of attention to everything that's well and we're we're trying to be loud and <laughs> you guys are doing a great noticeable, job so. absolutely i'm super I'm glad excited. to hear you saw yeah. us <laughs> absolutely um yeah, cool. Okay, so anything else you want to add to the conversation? I think we, we covered almost everything. Yes. Just basically this month, um, September. Is it every September? Yeah. yeah. Yes, every September is National Library Card Sign-Up Month. Um, but we do try and do fun giveaway things all the time. Oh, look, there, there's the cup. You you get all sorts of free stuff if you Oh, and your stickers. Library. Yeah, I give stickers! Out, we give out stickers and pins. Um, there's a library week in the spring, too, what? and we did uh, enamel pins. Um, oh, I think I have that. one of those because yeah, I was. It says, um, "When in doubt, yeah, go to the library." It's so cute. Um, so yeah, there's. I I just like to say, if you haven't been to the library in a long time, like since you were a child, it probably is cooler than you remember it being, <laughs> and there's there's more stuff than you remember it being, or um, there's something that uh, will suit every stage in life. So well, yeah, because you guys also do out. like sign language. I've just seen yeah, so our many children's different... library did baby sign language classes, yeah. uh, which is really important for development. Yeah. Um. Um. Uh, my my niece always did the. More, well, and more. I, you and I both use our hands, so I feel like almost it might be a negative <laughs> thing, though, if I learned it, though, because I'd probably then just you would be, like, sign always as doing you talk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. my hands. But, um, well, yeah, thanks so much for being on the show yeah, today. Yeah, me. This is I'm going to close it out. I didn't have a wait for you, so I'm just going to say my thing, and then we'll say our thing, if you remember our thing. I, I think I think so. you do. Yeah. I think you do. So. Which cam I'm going to – my camera? This is such a really professional ending. <laughs> the mid one okay what are you waiting for get, get to, to the, the point, point.